What's the deal with Olive Branch, Mississippi? Hi, I'm Jeff Jones with MidSouth.Homes at eXp Realty, and today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Olive Branch, Mississippi. If you're thinking about living in Memphis, and by the way, click subscribe below, click the bell so you get notified when there is new content dropped about living in Memphis. On this channel, we explore all you need to know about living in Memphis and the surrounding area that we call the Mid-South. So check out the channel, make sure you subscribe, get the latest information. If you're thinking about relocating to Memphis, you can call, text, uh, find me on social media, ask any questions you have about living in Memphis, and I'll be glad to answer those questions for you. And if you have a suggestion for a video you wanna see, hit me up with that too, and we'll see what we can do about making a video. Today, we're talking about the pros and cons of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Now, Olive Branch is actually where I live. I grew up in Memphis, uh, moved away uh, soon after I got married to go to graduate school, worked away for a long time, but moved back here in 2014. And my wife and I bought five acres with a pond in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Uh, there are lots of different places that you can live in Olive Branch with um, either new construction older homes, which to me is one of the pros about living in Olive Branch, is there are a lot of different options for housing. Uh, there's an apartment complex, there's some rent houses, there, like I said, there's new construction, there's older parts of town, there are um, homes that are you know, 10, 20, 30 years old, uh, all kinds of different places that you can actually live in Olive Branch. Olive Branch has been one of the fastest growing cities in the country and especially in Mississippi since the late 90s. Uh, our, um, our population has grown in the last 30 years from around 10,000 to 50,000. That's a huge uh, impact and increase in the population that we have. So here we are on uh, the map of the Memphis area. Now I do have a, another video that is just a map video of Olive Branch that takes you through uh, different parts of town, distances from different places. I'm not showing you that today. You can watch that other video on the map tour of Olive Branch. But I just want you to see that uh, here is Memphis up here in Shelby County in Tennessee. Uh, the, the Mississippi state line is right here where it says South Haven. Uh, Olive Branch is uh, this city in South Haven, in, actually in DeSoto County. Let me zoom back out a little bit so you can see uh, how it fits. Uh, in, in the map video, I show you this area of Olive Branch plus an area down here that's been annexed. But you can see that it is on the, the southeast side of Memphis, uh, below Germantown and a little bit west of south of Collierville. It is east of South Haven, north of Hernando, uh, also east of Horn Lake. Uh, those are the other three cities in, in DeSoto County. The Walls is the town of Walls. The rest of these are just areas that have a, sorry about that thing. Uh, these areas are just areas that have names. They're not actual cities uh, in, in DeSoto County. Anyway, this is Olive Branch. You can see where it is, top of Mississippi. Uh, and uh, I think it's a great place to live. And not just me. Let me tell you one of the other pros about living in, in Olive Branch. It is a great city. And just to show you that, Fortune Well ranks Olive Branch as number 36 in best places to live for families. That's 2023. And you can go back and look and you can see for the last several years, Olive Branch typically ranks high in places to live in the United States. Check out Olive Branch for all the different things that we have available for families here. Great schools. Uh, you can see on this, the median price, uh, sales price for a home is 303 in Olive Branch. I think that's a little higher right now. I know that in uh, October, DeSoto County's median price across the whole county was $330,000. Olive Branch typically runs a little bit higher on the median side. Median income, you can see the uh, racial diversity that we have here. Uh, just it, It's a great place to live. What makes Olive Branch a great place to raise a family or to live? You have the small town feel, 
you have all the parks, the recreation that we have available for sports teams for kids. We have a rodeo a few times a year that meets at one of the city parks. We have a fishing rodeo for the kids in the summertime. We have lots of other events we've already talked about or we'll talk about a little bit more in this video. Uh, it's just a great place for you to have your family and raise them. And for the most part, uh, we we everything feels good. There's low crime in Olive Branch, but we will talk about um, the potential for that being a con in just a moment. I mentioned that um, where it is in Memphis and related to Memphis, and I believe that its proximity to Memphis is a pro for living in Olive Branch. Now, we're going to talk about that also being a con, but for it's, it's a pro because you can actually live in the small town and you can uh, you can be in that small town and have the small town feel, which is a great thing about Olive Branch. But you still have the amenities of living near a big city with transportation, entertainment, shopping, dining, things that you can't get inside Olive Branch that you're able to get in Memphis, just a few minutes away that you can go and get whatever it is that you need there. Uh, but that is one of the pros of living in Olive Branch is its proximity to Memphis. And also um, one of those pros is going to be the small town feel. Olive Branch still has a small town feel. Uh, there are multiple times a year, the gatherings that the city promotes in what we call old town, that's um, if you had a, if we had a downtown, had an older area, that's that's one of the, the first areas that was developed. And it's called Old Town. Some great little quaint shops there. Um, one of my favorite coffee drinks I get from a place called Pink's. They have candy car, candy bar coffee drinks. And um, I love me one of those. Anyway, if you're in town, hit me up and I'll take you to Pink's. Anyway, Old Town's a great place to shop around. Uh, there's a bakery, florist, I mentioned Pink's, Sidecar Cafe, which is uh, some people's favorite hamburger. It's always listed in the, the top um, in the top list of local hamburger joints. It's a, a great place to go and hang out. Not very many places to sit and eat, so grab it and go, or maybe enjoy the picnic table outside. Anyway, Old Town is a great place, but it has that small town feel. Just a couple of weeks ago, the city put on their fall festival, their Halloween carnival on Old Town streets. Lots of vendors out there, lots of, of ways for kids to get candy. And there were what I heard was four or five thousand people. I had another event that night. Couldn't be there. Uh, but uh, it, it's a lot of things going on. The uh, Wesson House is next to our city hall, our, our county, our city courthouse building. There are movies on the lawn during the summer, uh, other times of the year. We have a giant Christmas light festival, the Light Garden at Olive Branch City Park. You want to check out the Light Garden, uh, and it's great. Last year was the first year. Um, it's phenomenal, going to be even better this year. But we have lots of that small town feel of being able to um, create uh, just a feel good. And like I said, a great place for you to raise your kids. So you have that small town feel. You also have that proximity to Memphis. So you get the small town, plus you have access to all the other things that if you were just in a small town three hours away and there was nothing there, um, you, you'd have to drive other places to get those things. So those are some of the pros for Olive Branch. What about some of the other pros for Olive Branch? And education is a pro for Olive Branch. We have great K through 12 schools. Uh, they are typically ranked in the top in the state of Mississippi. Um, Center Hill High School, uh, Lewisburg High School, <clears throat> they're both outside, or at least Lewisburg is outside of the city limits of Olive Branch. Uh, they are great schools that are, uh, that are in this area that are part of the Soda County School District. It's one county school district. You also have some private schools in the area, but all DeSoto County schools uh, are in one school district. They have different high schools in each of the cities, different elementary schools. Uh, 
but it's just uh, our schools are, are are pretty much ranked high. If you go on greatschools.com uh, or uh, .org, excuse me, greatschools.org, and you look up Olive Branch, Mississippi, you're going to find uh, the schools here and how it ranks the schools. It rates the schools. Just gives you an idea of the schools in Olive Branch or in all of DeSoto County. You can do this for any school in any city that you're, you're thinking about living in, in, in the Memphis area or anywhere else. Uh, but it gives you an idea of what's going on in these schools and what you can find uh, available to them and get their record, find out all about them. It's just a great thing, a great resource for you to be able to leverage to find out about the schools where you're going to be uh, considering living. Another pro for Olive Branch is the weather. Uh, if you've watched the pros and cons for Memphis, <clears throat> you'll know that weather is one of those pros. It can be a con, but we have typically mild weather in the wintertime and uh, it's pleasant most of the time. <clears throat> However, the weather, when it's hot, it's hot. When it's cold, it's cold. We typically get ice instead of snow in the wintertime, uh, and we have a propensity for tornadoes. There have been a couple of tornadoes in the seven, eight years that I've been back in Olive Branch that have come through Olive Branch, DeSoto County, and done some pretty significant damage to some areas. But severe weather is one of those uh, cons that we have, but the mild winter is a pro that we have. All right, let's talk about some cons. What are some cons for living in Olive Branch? I mentioned its proximity to Memphis as a pro, and it is, but its proximity to Memphis also brings some spillover, some of the Memphis crime that comes in. Our Olive Branch police, our DeSoto County sheriffs do a great job of minimizing crime. However, you can't really escape crime anywhere in the United States, especially near big cities. It's just part of that life. We do the best that we can. There's typically not very many violent crimes that happen in Olive Branch. You can search um, for uh, you know police reports and crime reports and look for Olive Branch and see for yourself what happens to be going on in the area. Uh, but um, that proximity to Memphis is crime. Also, that con is traffic. Uh, if you're driving into Memphis to go to work, or driving back into Olive Branch when you're coming home from work, typically you're going to be in some heavy traffic. There is heavy traffic in Olive Branch anyway, different times of the day, especially on Goodman Road, that north road that goes east-west, uh, uh, Cockrum, Hacks Cross Road, uh, 78, um, all those going north and south can typically get congested with traffic because of the fast growth that Olive Branch has experienced in the last 20, 25 years. Our infrastructure hasn't been able to keep up with that. They do the best they can with the roadways and keeping traffic. And there have been changes just in the last eight years that have been great for being able to um, minimize some of that traffic but we do have it. It is one of those cons for living in Olive Branch or pretty much anywhere in the Memphis area is going to be traffic. In the last couple of years, Olive Branch annexed uh, some parts of DeSoto County and brought almost doubled the land mass of the Olive Branch city limits, making it uh, one of the largest, if I believe the largest city in Mississippi based on land mass. So we do have some growth here. We have a good population base for a tax base. Um, uh, as speaking about taxes, the taxes in DeSoto County, uh, the DeSoto County taxes and the city of Olive Branch taxes um, are considered uh, low for this area. Uh, so that's a good factor if you're thinking about living in Olive Branch. They're a little bit cheaper than Memphis and Shelby County. However, your uh, your uh, and your sales tax is lower, but your car tags and uh, are a little bit higher, and you're going to pay sales tax on a car that you register in Mississippi, even if you purchased it somewhere else and paid sales tax for it there. But at the end of the day, that cost of living is a little bit lower than being in Memphis and in Shelby County, even when you add those factors in, and when you add in the factor of having a state income tax that our governor is hoping to get eliminated. Uh, they eliminated the top uh, tier percentage of the tax bracket last year or early in 2023 with a plan to eliminate another one before. I believe the top tax bracket was 6%. Now it's 5% and the plan is to eliminate that. So what happens is the people on the low end of the tax bracket 
totally lose that. And then the levels just move down. So the idea is that over a period of years that we get that completely eliminated with the tax base uh, for running our state government coming from other sources, but it's going to be uh, hoping to do away with that income tax. So don't let that be something that sways you away. Again, I believe the highest tax brackets, either 4% or 5%. So it's not a huge amount and your lower property taxes and lower cost of living offset those offset that tax factor. So there you have it, the pros and cons of living in Olive Branch, Mississippi. If you're thinking about living in Memphis, you might want to consider the surrounding areas as well as Memphis itself. I or my team are able to help you be confident in that home buying or selling process. Whether you want to make a move in 90 days or nine months, we're here to help. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel below. Click the bell so that you get notified when the latest information about living in Memphis comes out just for you. Have a blessed day.